Warning, in this video I'm going to talk about testicles, and if you find that uncomfortable, I urge you to grow a pair and listen anyway. And this is part of a small collaboration, so there will be a few other awesome makers doing videos and making stuff on Instagram, so please check them out. And while I ramble on, I'm going to do this relief carving of a magic 8 ball, a nice and simple design, and then use solar pyrography to shade it. If there is enough interest, I'll do another solar pyrography video to properly explain the technique and show how I made the magnifier. As I said, while I do all this, I'm also going to talk about balls. Now the template is easy enough to find, it's just the apple 8 ball emoji that I've printed off and I'll apply it to this old piece of pallet wood that I've sanded down. First I clamped up the template using my Triton Super Jaws and then stuck on the template with some spray adhesive. For my first cuts I use a 60 degree 6mm V-tool and outline the main piece. If you are interested in the Super Jaws by the way, I've done a review video that might be worth checking out after this. I'll put a link to the video in the uh, description below. Now they have their issues, which I cover in the video, but they're still pretty awesome for carving. The 8 ball has been used in previous years to spread awareness of prostate cancer, with the 8 referring to the Gleason score as the point of where the cancer can be at the advanced stage. Now I'm not trying to co-opt it here, and prostate cancer is just as serious to worry about, so please get yourself checked out for that too. Now, despite trying to be as diverse as I can, according to my analytics the majority of my audience are men aged 25 to 45 which in this case works out really handy for this video as testicular cancer is the most common form of cancer to affect men of this age range. That said, I also asked the ladies to watch and share as cards on the table, us men can be pretty rubbish at looking after ourselves and need all the help that we can get. Now I should probably mention that this wood is heat treated and from a reliable source as well, so it, it shouldn't have any nasty chemicals and something you should always check when working with pallet wood. Once the initial lines are cut with the V-tool, I work my way out from the middle of a small gouge. Now nothing fancy here, just a cut moving away from the piece so it can stand out as a relief carving. So let's tell you a little bit about my story, my checkup where I found a lump. As you should, I regularly check my balls. No, it's not an excuse to fiddle with them, I promise. It's a good way to make sure you know if something has changed, much like how women check their breasts for lumps. The best time to do this is after a bath or shower because they are at their most relaxed and do it one at a time and just filled all the way around with constant pressure but obviously not too hard. You'll know if you push too hard. They could feel hard or have a lump or just different in some way and if they are, don't panic. Your body is weird and changes all the time and a lump probably isn't a sign of cancer. If you do find something, or if you're just worried, make an appointment with the doctor. And don't worry either if you have one bigger than the other, or one is lower or higher, this can all be perfectly normal. Testicular cancer is one of the most treatable cancers, especially if caught early. And you and I, yeah, we might have a giggle about them, I mean, <laughs> balls, they're hilarious. But the doctors will take you seriously, and they'll handle you professionally. So, I found a little lump. Now, it's been a few years now, so I don't even remember which one, if it was lefty or righty, but either way, I made an appointment and I was seen really quickly. Hmm. Suddenly I'm very conscious that I'm happily chatting away about one of our most sensitive parts while showing footage of a really sharp knife, so apologies if I've made anybody wince. For the detail, in the middle I use a palm V-tool to outline the detail, and then switch to a small gouge and then just took my time. So I turned up to the doctors to find a lady, and I was already pretty terrified about showing off my bits, all the possibility of, um, well, yes, that. What's more, it was very, very cold outside, so, um, <laughs> yes. But she was wonderful, very professional, and completely agreed getting a checkup was a good idea. Cold hands, though. Well, she had a good feel of the area, but with great care. It's, it's almost like she had done this before, or had some kind of training and indeed she also noticed the lump. We had a good chat about what it could be, and what it's more likely to be, uh, you know, benign, just a lump, but she gave me a referral to have an ultrasound at a specialist, and I'll tell you a little bit about that in a moment. Okay, the wood looks good. I removed the remaining template carefully with a chisel and some light hand sanding. Lovely. 
let's take it outside while the sun is still shining. Now witness me harness the tremendous power of the sun. I started with most of the outline with my smaller magnifying glass. Now you can see how I made this in my solar pyrography video, uh, which I mentioned earlier. So, the visit to the specialist was just as smooth as and professional. I was made to feel so comfortable that I had no issue saying yes to a small team of medical students to also watch the procedure. <laughs> Had I been told beforehand that I'd had students watching, I'd have probably had a panic attack about and had horrible dreams about 50 girls all packed into an auditorium giggling away, but it turns out it was a nice warm room and just three students, so not embarrassing at all. They were all very, very professional and serious about it. The eight ball in this case is just something simple to burn, although the eight is kind of also significant, testicular cancer is more likely to develop if you have a close blood relative who has it. In fact, if your brother has had it, you're eight times likely to get it yourself. So yeah, the magnifying glass is great for the detail, but I get impatient quickly, so time to whip out the Fresnel lens. Yeah, I got this thing from AliExpress and it's pretty powerful. In fact, it can even melt metal with the sun. It's mostly about size, of course, because the bigger the lens, the more energy is being focused into one spot. I've seen even bigger lenses that can even melt rock, but I don't think I can be trusted with such a thing, do you? Yeah, look at that so much quicker, as you can see. So back at my appointment, they put some cold liquid on my boys. Didn't need to shave them or anything, as I thought they might, and they just popped a scanner on. I could see the lump in the screen, um, all the veins and the weird things going on in there. Honestly, it looked like an episode of Star Trek I once saw, but apparently it was all perfectly normal stuff going on. Almost straight away they could tell me that the lump didn't look like an issue at all, and would probably disappear in a few weeks, but to check and get another appointment if it didn't. So no biopsy or horrible stuff with scalpels, uh, nothing like that was needed, and indeed after a few weeks the lump faded away. I know, bit anticlimactic that, but honestly I was happy, and I was told most of the time these things are false alarms, but you should still always get them checked out just to be sure. There we go, nearly done. Hmm. The finished burning was probably a little overdone, so I cleaned up some of the edges with my gouges. And a careful first coat of melamine lacquer just to seal it, because there's nothing worse than getting loads of sort of black ash and stuff all over your hands as you're trying to uh, seal it and then find it's gone onto the wood. Oh, you can look a mess. So you apply a very careful coat of lacquer first just to seal it in. And then a few more coats, and it's done. Not bad, not bad at all. So please, check out some of the other cool things that people have made for this collaboration. I'll pop a playlist up if there are a few videos, but you can also find a few things on Instagram with the hashtag MakersBalls. So big thanks to everybody who took part, and massive thanks to the NHS who basically deal with this sort of stuff so well, even if they have to deal with a massive child like me. Oh, and remember to also check your balls. Thanks for watching.